Welcome back to some more Elden Ring 100% and then the DLC afterwards. Anyway, let's play. Um, We're gonna go... I feel like it's over there. Godric the Grafted area right here. We haven't... I don't think we have opened these doors yet. But if we did, we should have people inside this, uh, this castle. So I don't think they teleported yet because he's still stomping on them. So we need to open up these double doors over here. You can see there's no one sitting in the throne, so... I'm gonna grab a rest here. He should disappear also from here. And we'll be able to buy a somber 10 from him. Or well, not a somber, sorry, uh, a smithing stone. The legendary one. He's still stomping there, which is kind of strange. That means maybe I still didn't reach the conditions uh, to get them teleported over here. Yeah, they're still not here. So the way that we should do that is then talk to this guy. We clearly didn't... Uh, we clearly didn't exhaust his dialogue yet, so... I'm gonna go there quickly. I've been here. I'm pretty sure I've been here. He's just saying that he wants someone on his throne. So we're gonna just rush him. Since these guys, all of them should be one hit. And not worth our time. What you can do is just summon your mimic. Your mimic can have fun. Hopefully more is aggro, so you can actually go and attack. I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I must for a true and stalwart. So we did exhaust this dialogue, so it's kind of weird that that's the case. So we're gonna head back to the round table here, and then we're just gonna talk to the girl that should be sitting. On the throne. I don't know why she's still here. If she's still here. In this ash. I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first talk. And it reminds me of... Her ex dialogue is also exhausted. Maybe we should talk to her father again and be like, dude, your daughter doesn't listen to me. What's up with that, huh? Let's just have a look here. Uh, he... Oh, here we go. About the secret medallions. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Remember, last time I was here, I couldn't ask about this stuff. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Nicola of the Halig Tree, the Unalloyed, his twin, Melania, the undefeated swordswoman, Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala, and the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune, so here at the Hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Find the Albino. She hides and she knows. So, that's pretty much it here. Talk to him again. Okay, nothing. So now we're just gonna head back there and see if we can actually get them over here. Um, oh wait. He's still in that location though. So what if I just rest? Does he vanish then? Let's just have a look. Because the, that's the easiest way to tell. Is he still standing there or not? Uh, continue on with our dexterity. 
gives us two now. Strength also gives us two. Uh, it's because the weapon is one-handed, I'm sure. We can't make it two-handed from here. Is he still there? Yeah, he is. So I need to read a little bit more how to get this quest log uh, continuing on. Just give me one second. Okay, this guy is changing time to noon. So let's just see here. Fast time, noon. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Uh, so the only thing I think then is we have to... Either talk to the gatekeeper, because he the, the only difference is he killed this vendor and I didn't. He killed this guy. And I'm pretty sure I did exhaust his dialogue. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> can I, mate? So you can obviously purchase something here. Um, I'm just gonna run into this place because we just opened up the doors and ran away. So maybe we should run into it and be like, oh, there's a throne here. Who the bows, eh? Who the bows? And maybe now if we rest, since we've been inside, hopefully that will trigger the conditions. I'm not too sure. Now I can do can I Um is there anything of value here? Not really. Oh, there we go. He's gone. So now uh, that triggered the conditions. So now all three of them will be inside here. There we go. Nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just. Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, okay, he's done. Command of the at which time I. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu. Warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. There's the ancient dragon smithing stone. That's how you get your weapon to 25. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere i will remain to summon the storm ah you is it haven't seen your mug in quite some time as you can see i'm the new lady's attendant freedom was worth squat B besides i like it round here Lady Nefeli, still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. 
I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. So if you didn't kill him, you can actually buy this for 20,000 runes. Uh, could be worth. Ah, back again, are we? Curious. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> so we got two of them right here. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I don't, I honestly don't think uh, we can upgrade our weapon to 25. I don't even think it's 24 yet. Um, but we'll quickly just have a gander. Wait, before we go there, uh, we got some uh, two finger lady stuff we can go through. <sighs> you have returned. What is it? Uh, so, receive Remembrance. Apparently, this is one of the best weapons in the game. Blasphemous Blade. Uh, it's a faith weapon. It scales really well with faith. But you can see the attributes there is 22 strength, 15 dex, and 21 faith. So, it might might be somewhat like a quality build, but not 100%. It might be three stats you're going to uh, put your stuff in. Um, just want to see here. So can, the, the cool thing about this weapon also is the fact that the, the second paragraph, now they share the same blood, bound together as family. Some HP is restored upon defeating an enemy. So the cool thing about this is like how many like smaller enemies are you fighting during the game? There's a lot of them that are difficult, but every time you kill someone, uh, you're going to get some HP back, which is really cool. Um, so it has the Taker Flames, Raise the Sacred Sword, Aloft, uh, to set ablaze with blasphemous flames. Then bring it down to fire off a, a forward blast. The flame steal HP from those they touch. So your L2 button will heal you um, with the damage you do. A sacred sword of Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy, remains of the countless euros he has devoured. Writhe upon the surface of uh, of this blade so pretty cool stuff here this is one of the best weapons i should do some research about this just give me a second okay guys after watching about four videos about how reviews and uh, stats based and stuff like that is um yeah this is the best weapon in the game uh even through dlc the guy finished the dlc twice with this weapon he says that this weapon is definitely uh one of the best if not the best weapons still even if you consider all the dlcs uh, uh, weapons as well so i'm gonna buy this and we're gonna upgrade this weapon right here right now now the the guy that i'm watching uh he used that runes and uh, but i'm not gonna do that uh we're gonna respec and use that weapon and see how good it's gonna be because i'm honestly curious uh we used this weapon for a long time um but I think it's time for us to change up a little bit. So let's go to our chest here. Go to weapons. And we're going to put away stuff. There it is, Blasphemous. So put that one away also. Everyone's saying that this is playing the game on easy mode. And if that's the case, then, you know, I'll be happy. <laughs> so then we'll have a sharp weapon and a blunt weapon. I'll be fine with that. So we most probably won't use this uh, shield anymore as well. Well, where have you got to you for dinner, no Matt? Lay out your arm. Um, so here we go. It needs sm uh, sombering stones. Yeah, we don't have a somber 10 yet, but we'll find one soon. And with that, we have to also go respec. And apparently your mimic is like god tier when you use it, by the way. Uh, yeah, it seems to be here, the library. Apparently, your Mimic becomes a god also after you use this weapon. So, we're just going to do that. We're going to respec and we're going to put on this beautiful weapon. 
I think we'll put our, the shield at least on our back. Um, this weapon looks nice as well. Ah, now is it time? So we're gonna rebirth here. I I have the stats here on my left side. They say that you should get 50 vigor. 50 vigor. Uh, 26 mind. 26 mind. 20 endurance. Uh, 22 strength. Uh, 15 dexterity. Uh, these are all base. And then everything else in faith. So we're going to get our faith up to 80. Um, but yeah, for now we're at 59. So that's okay. The scaling should still be good. Let me just double check. 50, 26, 20, 22, 15, 9. But that's base. Uh, 80 and 7. So... We just need to get our faith up to 80, and then this build should be good. Ah, thou art now a sweeting, full, fine, and fair. My thanks for being born of my beloved egg, time and time again. Okay, so that's great. So yeah, we're gonna we need to get that uh, faith up to eighty. Obviously, the soft cap is at uh, fifty nine. Sorry, sixty. So we are very close to that sixty mark. Um, we can actually pop some runes here. Uh, inventory. How much do we need? 116, so 7,000 more. So let's go with 8,000. Just to be safe for a level up, you know. And uh, we're going to get this faith up one more. So also, uh, you want to use the rune that uh, that will give you... Let me just show you here. The one that gives you 30% uh, health. Uh, we also want to change our mixed physique. So we no, no longer need boost strength. We're going to change this to the fire one. Temporary boost strength. Uh, this one, temporary boost fire attacks. And the second one uh, is up to you what you want to take. Uh, we're going to keep the steadily restore HP for now. So we'll keep that in for now and uh, test it out. We want to go to flask here and you want to uh, allocate your flasks. Uh, they, they say that you have to get at least six blue. I'm going to take eight and uh, test this out. And yeah, that is the build pretty much concluded. Um, do we have a heavy roll? We, we're still in medium roll, so that's pretty good. Um, for spells, we want grant me, uh, strength, I think is what it's called. So let me see your flasks, uh... Alter Ashes of War, Great Runes, uh... Mem memorize Spell. Flame Cleanse Me. Uh, Blood Flame, we're no longer gonna use this. Uh, we're gonna use... Uh, flame grants me strength. I don't know if I have it yet. Flame cleanse me. Yeah, we don't have the grants me strength yet. I think maybe I didn't buy it. Blood flame blade. Uh, but for now, I don't think it's needed, to be honest. I think this weapon by itself is already strong. Um, even if I don't use the buffs correctly. You know what I'm saying? Okay, next thing here, we're going to go to the Divine Tower of West Altus Gate, which is over here. Uh, we didn't open the door. 
but we're gonna go to there now. So to just show you guys uh, the weapon art of this weapon. So that's the weapon art. Um, pretty good stuff, actually. It's a pretty long range weapon. And every time it hits an enemy, it will heal you 10% of the damage dial. Well, 10% of your total HP. That's why the better rune to get here is the 30% uh, increased uh, health. And that's why the most important stat to reach is that 60 vigor uh, mark, uh, which we give ourselves 50 vigor. Um, and then with the buff, we're going to get 60. So, uh, but yeah, we'll change our runes, um, our stuff later. Not a big deal. Uh, obviously, it's a great sword, so the swings are still slow. Uh, the reach on this weapon itself is not that big. Um... Compared to, like, other weapons, for example. But it's not that bad either. Right card Great Rune, which most probably will never use. Since it doesn't fit our build. And we're going to teleport here to the Freezing Lake. But before we go there, uh, we're going to mark somewhere here and somewhat here. We're going to get a Grace that's all the way here. And then we're going to go to that location there. Actually, you know what, guys? Before we go here, uh, let's just go get the incantation, uh, the, the ability here. Um, so we're going to get this by Fort Gale, uh, which is right here on the map. My I use my mouse, so like it's kind of buggy. So right here on the map in Fort Gale is where this is. So I'm just going to teleport. And then we're just going to grab this quickly. Um, this is this buff gives you 20% increased damage um, with fire and physical. So if you R1, R2, uh, it will still do really good damage. But obviously, your biggest damage is going to come from... from the fire that you do the whole time. Your L2 button. We're going to spam that the whole time against bosses. It's going to heal us up. That's why we want to have as much HP as possible because every time you use it, it's just going to be fantastic. And then obviously I'm a potato head and I'm running the wrong way. Uh, so I don't know if it's a vendor in here or why I don't have this, uh, this thing yet. But you can just see like... So you can see my HP now is low. And you can see we're fully healed again. Absolutely ridiculous of a weapon. Uh, if you want to play this game somewhat easy mode, this is the way to do it. Now, I don't know what is your... I don't know if it's a vendor. Honestly, can't remember. All I do remember is that we did open up this location. As you can see now, we lost HP. So... By the way, you can use this weapon also as an offhand. And it would still do phenomenally well. So you can just see there it healed me. So after you kill an enemy, it will heal you. up here so I don't know how I missed it but it's somewhere in this fort 
So we're just gonna double check and make our way like through this place again. It might be the chest at the bottom here. Maybe I didn't grab it. Um, this is a portal that will take us somewhere else. Bro, I remember picking it up. Uh, I just watched the video on where to get it. It's actually uh, at the back here. Because I'm pretty sure we did get the loot that's in here. So at the back there is where two fire dudes is. So maybe I just uh, stored it by accident. You just see how much this weapon heals. Yeah, it's picked up. It's on that uh, guy right there. So we're going to go to Freezing Lake. We're going to check our... Our chest. Um, sorry about the waste of time, guys, but it should be here somewhere. There it is. Flame grants me strength. Memorize spell. We're not going to use this. So uh, this is also needed, but I'm not going to do it in my build because it will increase the damage you take as well by 20% and buff your damage you do by 20%. But people say, obviously, since you're healing, like it doesn't really matter that you're taking more damage because you'll just be healing with your ability anyway. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use Flame Grants Me Strength. It requires 12 faith. So all I have to do is press this button and then we'll be able to do it. Okay, so from here, we're going to just ride up Sorry about all the uh, running around and stuff throughout this episode, guys. But, like, I want to get this weapon at a decent level. You can just see, like, the damage on this thing is actually pretty good. And every time you kill an enemy, you heal. I don't know exactly how much. I think it's 5% of your total health. Uh, so the numbers is actually pretty insane. So right now we're just going to make our way to this marker. There's going to be a grace here. So yeah, the weapon doesn't heal us 1% anymore. But it heals more after a kill, so... Oh, that one dropped down. We're gonna go there later. Let's just go grab the grace. to get used to this weapon swinging because now it seems like more like a, a thrust or a slash damage we do right in front of us not beside us anymore with the previous weapon we had we were swinging sideways 
I'm not gonna rest at this grave or this area. Okay, upcoming part is fairly easy if you play online. Obviously, we're not playing online, so... It's gonna be a little bit difficult for us to do. All you have to do is be a little bit patient. And uh, we'll get through this. So first of all, this is a hidden bridge right here in front of us. So we're just going to run forward, aim straight for that. Going to jump off from here. Because right now we can get up at the, uh, onto the balcony in front of us. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, these stones to determine if we can move forward or not. So roughly about here by the green marker, it should start to go left. So that will cause my death. Kind of see the mist here. It leads you to the right place. Honestly, think you could just follow the mist, but I'm very scared. That's it. Looking back at it, it's pretty cool. All these floaty... <laughs> floaty stones. Uh, in here is going to be two enemies. That's pretty... Uh, pretty shy to do deal with. If I can just... here. Uh, next place we're going to is going to be marked right now. It's going to be the map of this area coming up. It's going to be a dude around the corner here. And the founding rain stars, which is uh, an achievement. So if you're an achievement hunter, you know, you kind of need that before uh, for your. What the heck? It seems like my foot is in the air, dude. But it's a part of my robe. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think there's one more enemy here. Um. You need you need to get that for platinum if you want to get platinum. So you can just see, even if we don't use our ability here, like how much we're healing, it's kind of ridiculous.
Okay, so we're gonna make our way straight to this marker. We're gonna find a... We're gonna find a grace in between as well. Oh my goodness, don't die. Whew, that, uh, that bridge is kind of sweaty. My knees is weak and my arms is heavy. This vomit under the sweater already. So there's the grace. And we are gonna rest at it. Premature dismounting, it's okay. I'm honestly looking forward to see how strong our mimic is. just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you, Torrent. Please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. Thanks, girl. Please touch my hand. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. I appreciate it. Share them with me. Hell, you're expensive. She's the most expensive bitch in the game at the moment. And when you give her more, she's like, nah, I want more, dude. Are you broke or anything? No, not yet? Okay. I want more. So we're gonna make our way through here. We're gonna run across the chain. I'm hearing a shiny. I think we'll take care of it later. Not a big concern right now. We're just gonna come here for the map. We soon are gonna fight a boss, a dragon. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to test this weapon on a dragon, dude. Everything is awesome. So map found. Grab the grace. Ooh, the graphics, bro. Never cease to fail. Oh. This graphics is just phenomenal. Okay, we're gonna go back to Freezing Lake. Okay, let's do some marks. Uh, it's roughly here. And then roughly here. So we're gonna go to one first. Um, you can already see it there by the tree. There is a invisible dude, invisible bull that will keep rolling in circles. And he has a very small loop. We missed him. We'll just wait here again. Missed him again. Okay, so now this is just a joke, so. When I see him again, he's gone, bro. And we get Tsupuku, which is one of the best abilities in the game, um, especially if you compare, like, use the. Use a talisman that will give you. Uh, this one right, this one right here. Where is it? Uh, this one. So when Bloodlust procs, you get an increased attack power. So if you use Seppuku, Seppuku will give you like 20% damage. And with this, you'll get another 20% damage. And uh, yeah, it's just insane how much damage you'll deal. Uh, I For now, we're not going to deal with that, uh, but it could be good. So here's the loot we wanted here. So, okay, that marker is already gone. And with that, we have a dragon boss fight now. So once we hop down, we're gonna summon our mimic.
You can really see the damage we're dealing is just insane. It's actually a pretty good spot for us. Oh man. Not gonna lie, that gave me a fright when we got hit by that. There we go. Just like that. Bow us down, dude. Give us a hundred thousand runes. And the Dragon Heart of Doom. That's what I'm talking about. So from here we're gonna add three more markers. One. Two is roughly here. And then three is there-ish. Okay, let's head to marker one. Now with the um, now with the dragon dead, you can actually see around here. Like if the dragon is up and you just avoid it, it would so be so foggy. You won't be able to see the markers in the distance. It's just like, you know, extremely snowy in front of you. So, but yeah, apparently there's like not much loot here. So. In this whole zone in front of us. There's not much here to do. Uh, there's a few things on the right side. We'll get there later. So we're going to head to this church. There is a grace here. And also another tier. So we're going to increase our potions uh, quality. Even more. Or even higher. Scale it higher. There's a somber bell bearing uh, 3. Which I believe gives you access to... Uh... Six, no, no, seven and eight. I think seven and eight. Um, we just want to climb this cliff here. Or this mountain. Just going to unmount. Here's just another somber seven, three of them. Now we're just going to head straight here. There's going to be uh, graves we can actually loot in this area. I also want to change the shield because, like, sure, we have this this magic uh, repellent thing to return magic to the enemies. Uh, but to be quite honest, I think if we just put no on, um, our mimic will also cost more of the other ability here. Little bit of doggos here. Obviously not a threat. Thank you for the heals, buddy. Um, just keep on looting. So that seems to be all of them. Bro, go up. Goodness. Gonna get rid of this marker. And we're gonna head on in. This guy is uh, weak to lightning damage if you want to do that. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, just use my weapon. Try to heal again. My turn.
Good fight, good fight. Bikes Dragon Bolt. And we get the helm. We get his full gear set, so pretty cool stuff. Dude, this weapon is next level, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wish I knew about this weapon my first run, honestly. So we're going to make our way to the third marker, which is that side. Uh, we're going to go roughly here as well. Uh, so the fastest way to get there is to just teleport back to the church. All right. So we're going to go to number three here. Actually, we could have talked to Melina there. I don't know if we did. Uh, well, hopefully she will show up also in this catacombs that we're going to. So we got loot right here. And snails. This is like perfect to show of how broken this weapon really is. Go try and fight two snails at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> this is, they don't do nothing, dude. Um, so yeah, it's like playing the game on easy mode. Um, I don't know what people would say about this. Obviously, um, if if the, the weapon is on your disposal, obviously, you know, it's like... It's like playing, in my opinion, it's like playing Final Fantasy and you find like this legendary god tier mimic or not mimic... Uh, Legendary God tier uh, ability or um, weapon. And no, no, I'm not going to use it because it's too strong. Like, sure, you can say stuff like this, but honestly, I feel like your job is to become, in a game like this, to become as strong as possible, uh, to play the game as, you know, as you want to in the first place, but also to, to be as strong as you possibly can get. Um, so... Not very concerned about that, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna keep pumping faith. We need 80 faith for this build to be, like, insanely broken. Uh, we can't talk to Melena here, so that's really unfortunate. And now we're gonna head away in here. So don't move straight here, because you'll fall down. We're gonna hug the wall here. Just grab the moss, keep hugging the wall. Now this, uh, this area, you want to kill all the, uh... Um, what are they even called, man? Honestly. <laughs> All the snails. Um, that's your highest priority here. So, we're gonna do that. Uh, I don't think there's any loot on the right side here. Oh, there is. So now we're just gonna fall. The hole's right here. We took some fall damage there. Thank you, game. Off HP, at least we didn't die. So with the snails down, all the wolves disappear as well at the same time. Got a great burn. So... I don't know where exactly we have to... But yeah, we have to crouch through this whole place. So roughly here. This is sad, man. The wolves are playing with each other. They're having some fun. I mean, I'm not killing the wolves. I'm killing the one summoning the wolves. So they're like permanent summons. Are you too cool? My buddy? Ah. Ah, I killed your master, my buddy. It's time for you to also go. You know what I'm saying? So that takes care of that. I should have removed the... Uh, the skill and the weapon. Because I want to see this mimic solo here. Um, let's have a look.
I'm just gonna use one ability. I just wanna get full HP. Whatever, we'll just drink. There he goes. So the crazy thing about this is you use, you yield 10% of your health every time you use that ability in spamming. And you can see the Mimic is also healing here, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So Mimic is taking a, quite of a beating right now. Maybe Mimic can solo? Yeah, it's guarding right now. It's gonna explode. So, Fat Boy is gonna spawn now. So I'm gonna die. see here how much it heals. And then after this is a snail. The Godskin Swaddle Cloth and then with the Black Flame Ritual. And that wraps up this Dungeon of Doom. Okay, with that done, we're gonna go to the place right here, back to the chain. So, we're gonna clear out this area right here. We're gonna use the summon and we're gonna have some fun. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, there we go. So, let us clear out this area. Obviously, the summon will help a lot here. And you can see I'm also getting healed every kill he's getting. Anyone that has this weapon on will get healed, which is insane. So, if you even if you play dual um, multiplayer. So I'm healing also my Mimic by just killing enemies here. So that's fantastic. We're gonna get the shiny later. Just kill these three guys here. So let's see a Mimic. Does he get HP? Let's see the Mimic's HP. I don't think it got HP, dude. It will definitely from that. Yeah, I don't think he got HP. So guys, this is, in my opinion, the best Ash of War that you can use on that axe that we were uh, that we were using before, the Lifesteal axe.
Yashavor Prelates Charge. I'm going to show you guys very soon. Um, maybe, yeah, in the next episode, I'll show you guys. It's extremely good. It's most probably the best Ash of War you can get on that axe. Uh, the reason for the the reason for it is um, because it does fire damage when you charge, and also it procs your uh, it also procs your bleed, which is insane. The range on this thing is absolutely ridiculous, dude. So we're gonna clear out this area right here, also. First, we're going to go through it. And the Mimic is going to just follow us along the whole time. Golden Rune 10. I don't know if your summon has infinite FP, to be honest. You can see the Mimic is still like full HP, bro. It's absolutely ridiculous. I freaking love this at the moment. Yeah, it looks like the Mimic did not get healed. Yeah, he's not getting healed. I'm, I'm getting healed. He's getting healed every time he presses L2, pretty much. Uh, so down here is going to be a ladder for us to take. Yeah, there is. There's a guy up here that's extremely strong for a regular enemy. Uh, but you are going to get the shield drop 100%. Uh, it's a fire shield. Pretty big. It shoots cannonballs out of it. Pretty nice. Um... Would recommend. I, I don't know how good it actually is. We're getting smithing seven. So right now you just want to clear out these boxes. And then there's a secret jump we can do here. And the mimic would still follow us, which is great. So the mimic can also magically do the jump. Kill these dogs so we don't get invaded or assassinated. And here's the guy with the shield. And there he is. He loaded his weapon. Ooh, nice troops. We got hit by two of them. And you get the one-eyed shield. Pretty cool stuff. Shooting cannonballs out of your shield. I mean, what more do you really want? And we're going to make our way up here. And I think with this, you can actually see, like, how broken the Mimic is now also. We could just, like, jog through an area and the Mimic will just kill everything and still remain full HP. I think it has infinite LP. Or FP, sorry. And get the prayers cookbook. So with this, we're gonna just teleport all the way to the vow uh, church of vows, and we're gonna go to our turtle guy and hand this in and be like, "Yo, what's up, Beach?" And then he will, you know, give us another ability. Which, since we changed our bolt, we might just have a look also at the abilities. Do you need anything? Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Study sorcery. Obviously, I'm not going to do anything here. Incantations, on the other hand. Oh, flame. Giants flame take thee. A flame fall upon them. Surge of flame. That just sounds insane, actually. Incinerates area before caster and stream of fire. 
It costs... FP to cost is one. What? I, I don't understand, man. So it looks like nothing here is from the guide that I watched, so we're not going to take anything. But yeah, now we got a new ability. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I just want to show you guys this Ash of War quickly, because it's, in my opinion, extremely broken. It is by far the best Ash of War you can use on this weapon, so... Ash of War. So this one right here. Uh, then we have... Uh, the Flame Art Great Stars. I oh, sorry, uh, Ash of War Prelates Charge. And we want to put on, I think it's Flame Art. I mean, we are Faith Bolt, so... The scaling will be better with uh, Faith Bolt for me. Uh, if you're if you're a heavy bolt, obviously you can go heavy there, but I do recommend having fire. So I think we'll just go here to the swamp shore. Just want to show you guys like how strong this thing actually is. Now we might be heavy rolling with this thing, but it's okay. Uh, so if you hold down L2, so if you hold on L2 now, it will do a charge. And you can control it. And you can stop by just pressing uh, R1 or R2. Now the thing is, I'll show you guys against this thing. It's a big one, right? Pretty insane. Against bosses, it will stagger them. Against bigger enemies, it will just uh, do really, really good damage. Uh, if I remember which which name it is, Rampart, First Floor, Lower Capital Church, Balcony, Underground Roadside. If we go here quickly, I can show you guys also on a pretty beefy guy. Very tanky. But you'll see it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I want to take a hit or two. To just like emphasize like how much healing you get from this as well with this weapon. Grab attack, sure. Look at my HP. So I'll do it again. So we ran out of strength. Oh sorry, um stamina. Look at my healing. Absolutely insane. damage on it looks poor, to be honest, but the heal is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so you might want to just play around with this. I think it's one of the best things in the game if you play with this uh, this weapon. Um, for some reason, it seems like we're not getting our... Uh, we're not getting our... What's the name in, actually? It might just be normal fire. It might just be keen or... Yeah. But yeah, just playing around with this. I think it's phenomenal. Just based on, like, the sheer healing. Uh, you could use this for sheer healing as well. Uh, for if you do take some damage. It's pretty good stagger. There's fire damage afterwards. I think we're doing piss poor damage uh, because I might not meet the requirements of the weapon, just by the way. Maybe that, I think that is the reason. So yeah, there you guys have another like, if you were using this weapon and didn't get the other one, perfect, in my opinion, for Ash of War for this weapon. And uh, let me know in the comment section how much you guys enjoy this.
If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.